Hey folks, Matt from VaritaTheImage.com. I'm kind of hiding behind the size of this box. <laughs> this is the Nikon 200 to 500 millimeter VR. It's the new one. I'm excited to get this in. Just came in from Nikon. And uh, let's get it open and out of the box and we can show you the uh, this lens because this is a phenomenal lens. So up in the top, we've got a... Um, a uh, what do we got here? A little container that has the oh the lens hood. And the lens hood on here is a big oh that that's a that's a huge lens hood. Look at the size of that thing. Um, this is just a big lens all around. So um, we'll take it out of the out of the packaging. We'll set it there so you could see. You could be impressed with the size of the lens hood. Um, that box out of the way, and then we got uh, the next portion is just some packaging. And here is the, oh, this thing's heavy. All right, let's get this over there out of the way. And what do we got here? We'll put the bubble sleeve back in. That's got some weight to it. That is a big lens. Check out the, uh, the front element. Let's see, does it say what the filter size on here is? Might not be stamped on there. I bet you it's on the inside of here. 80, no, 95. 95 millimeter filter size. So it's pretty big. When we add the, um, when we add the uh, lens hood on here, check out the size of this. That's pretty, pretty good size lens. Um, it weighs a fair bit. Um, very nicely made. Uh, you know, this just seems to me like a little bit bigger version of the 70 to 200 VRs that I've had from Nikon. Um, it's got a lock at 200 here, so you don't get uh, lens creep. You'll see that's not happening. So if I take the lock off, then you can extend this. And as you can see, it is not an internal zooming lens. It's an external, so the lens does extend as it zooms. When you put the lock on, you cannot, it locks it at 200 there for you. So you're not going to get any creep. Uh, if you're carrying it, it's not going to accidentally come out on you and damage your lens. It's a nice, nice feature to have the lock. Over on the side here, we have the um, manual um, to autofocus versus the manual switch. We've got the uh, full to uh, infinity to six meters. So it's obviously got a limiter on there for... Um, similar to what you would see, I guess, on... Uh, I seem to remember that same switch was on my 105 macro so it gives you um you know if you're it's got full and then it's got the limited um so probably aids in focusing speed if you're in the correct one for what you're doing um i'll look that up and see exactly what they say about it because i don't remember exactly what the two differences are there but i do know it's got something to do with um, the focusing speed and, and limiting it so it's faster. We've got normal and sport on our VR, and then we've got an on-off switch for VR. And there's the back element, as you can see. And just, wow, just an impressive lens. Um, big lens. And uh, made in China. S-W-M-V-R-E-D-F-I-F. And then 95 diameter, so it's quite a mouthful of all the, all the things. And as I, as I showed you before, there, let's turn the, the lock off. There is extended to the 500 millimeter setting, so it comes out quite a bit, and then back again to 200, and that's it there. So impressive looking lens. Comes with the tripod collar, as you can see too. That looks. You can take that off. I'm not going to bother doing that right now. Um, nice lens very impressive looking fit and finish is great looks good the rubber feels nice on the uh focusing ring and on the zoom ring um all the buttons seem you know as you'd expect from nikon but a nice tactile response to them in the sense of firm and whatnot i'm gonna leave the vr switched on there and normal and on full i'm excited to get out with this thing i have the d610 here 
I have the D5500 here. I even have the D3300. Uh, I'm not sure about the D3300, but we'll probably try it on the D3300, but I definitely want to try it on the 610 um, to see how it is on the full frame 610 with its focusing system. Excited to try it on the 5500, the DX, the you know, top performing sensor there in APS-C sensors, um, to try this because that gives us a crop, which is an advantage on a long lens like this because that makes our 500 virtually a 750 it's a 750 field of view so this is like having a 750 millimeter lens on the d500 uh, d5500 so excited to try that let me see uh spec wise i got them all here for you just so i'm not missing anything msrp on this is 1399.95 uh, i don't think you'll see any deals on this it's a fairly new lens and it's a pretty good value for something that long um Compact Super Telephoto for birding, wildlife, motorsports, events, and more. Um, 500 millimeter zoom power on FX, 750 equivalent on DX. So like I just noted, 750 equivalent. It's got a 5.6 constant aperture. So it's pretty decent there. Um, for a lens of this length, that is pretty decent. You know, if you're getting into even an F4 lens of this uh, length, a 500 millimeter F4, you're going to have a much bigger lens to accommodate the glass and the optics. 4.5 stops of vibration reduction with sports mode. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, the VR from Nikon keeps seems to keep getting better. You know, four and a half stops is pretty significant. AF is compatible with the TC14E series teleconverters and DSLRs that offer F8 support. So that's F8 support in their autofocus system. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, I don't think, with the 610. Uh, don't think it's a problem with the 55, although I'd have to double check both of those. Um, certainly um, should be fun on both cameras. In the box was the snap-on front lens cap, bayonet hood, uh, which is this here, and the rear lens cap, and the semi-soft soft case, which is in this box here. So they give you all that with it, uh, and I'm just really excited to get out and try this lens. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lens with the two bodies, and probably also along with the P900, um, which is a 2,000 millimeter lens. Um, I'm going to take this to probably the Toronto Zoo, I'm thinking, next week um, and get some shots of the animals there with it. So that ought to be fun and we'll put it through its paces there and see what we can get close-up wise, especially on the 5500 where it becomes a 750 millimeter lens. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the 200 to 500 millimeter, leave them in the comments below. I'll see if I can get them answered for you. I'll get some shots going so we can show you some results from this lens um, and just show you some hands-on shooting. We'll do some videos when we're out in the field shooting and show you how it is in operation and then give you my full review of it. Uh, so I'm really excited to try this. I think it's going to be a beautiful lens. Um, I've got great expectations as they say to quote the book title anyways if you have any if you own this lens already leave some comments below let me know how do you like it and uh any feedback any advice tips whatever leave that below too and uh, thanks for tuning in stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com thanks